Hello again, it's Chip and Eddie here. This video, we check out what lucrative business Jonathan runs. I thought you'd get a kick out of seeing the animals. Yeah. And sample some Louisiana Cajun classics. Very nice. Stay tuned for more. We got up this morning slightly later than usual. We had taken a few photographs the night before which I forgot to include in the previous video. This one almost made Chris fall over. I found a zucchini we picked on their kitchen counter. I also found a beautiful Yamaha piano in their dining room. And that's Chip. And that's a very famous hymn. Here's a little more of all things dog related. Speaking of which... No B-A-L-L, -L, right? No B-A-L-L, -L. okay, okay, okay. Alright, alright. So we said goodbye to Chris and headed to Jonathan's office. You've never seen that before? Um, well I've seen it before. I mean, seen it on TV definitely. I put up into one I cannot remember. Maybe my parents were the one with the kids and then I was too young to remember. And they had the gold car she drive out here. I really have to stop doing that. Duck decoys, you put them out on the water, you blow through your whistle, it makes duck sounds and the ducks come along and you shoot them and you eat them. This is what she meant by the whole palette of train stuff that needs to be put together. Railroad magazines. Nito Kakaku. Oh, look. Ladders. These are all the models. Um, bolsters? What's bolsters? Okay, bolsters. Look, the little parts. Side frames. Steps and grabs. Everything has to confirm, right? Mm -hmm. That's why all of our steps have to be the mm -hmm. same. Upset employee? Play darts. Throw something at someone.
We're here at uh, Jordan's uh, workshop, I guess, workshop and office. It's, um, it's where he does his business. <laughs> I was saying it's not like he, he wants to work, I mean, but, but that's where he makes his money from. And it's good money. We also picked up a brochure from their tour office. So what are you waiting for? Call them today! Terms and conditions apply. After saying goodbye to Jonathan, we were on our way to Gonzales. Well, almost. We had to make a U-turn because I missed the Mississippi sign. Otto's food truck sure made us hungry for some road snacks. And I cannot for the life of me understand why Chip likes this. Quite slim jet, is it? We did however go looking for proper food afterwards. And there's a Texas roadhouse, that's a pretty good place to eat. What is? An apple's bee. It's like a chilies, but it's a different uh, kind of apple. I don't know how this chili is. If you would call Sonic's proper, what do you recommend I should have? Um, Besides the corn dog. <laughs> yeah, we're done with that. I go with the. Um, cheeseburger. The uh, double or the single? Uh, I usually go double, but I'm just going to go with the single this time. Okay. And then I get, uh, let's see, I add jalapenos. Mm -hmm. And I ask for it with mustard instead, because it comes with uh, ketchup and mayo, which you'll probably like the ketchup mayo, because you don't like, I like mine with mustard. And then we could always split up ordered large tater tots again. Mm -hmm. And that would probably be enough, right? Mm -hmm. Colony Park. There's a word to describe that. That stone colony that looks like that. What's that word? I have no idea. I mean, I asked you the same seen, question on yeah. the way up here Saturday. I and responded here we the are same way. On a Tuesday, and you still can't answer my question. You heard of Google? Well, okay, yeah, but I'm too busy for me. Okay, hold on. Not right now, but I would like to know before we leave the state what it is. Let's find that, but 
first walk okay. by Ford. Um, Don so Seafood, I think it was. Uh, no, I just, uh, you just want your beer, right? We pick Gonzalez as our midpoint in our drive back to Texas. Jambalaya capital of the world. Don Seafood was one of the few within walking distance from our hotel. They are a reliable chain and you can't go wrong with cool door bars like that. Wood for reserve. Ah, nice. I will say the small is like a smaller entree. That's okay? Yeah, yeah. Gotcha. Small seafood. Yeah, we'll like start with that. Yeah. Yeah. So this one is uh, part of the Louisiana Sweet Spot Cocktail Trail where you can get a stamp on your passport. We settled for a sudden sangria instead. Starting me on an expensive passport trail might be a bad idea. That 20 is good, there's pineapple juice in it. This is just the ingredients. And then this one, I'm gonna try on my fried crawfish later. Cayenne peppers, still vinegar, salt, noir. For starters, we got ourselves the blackened alligator and a seafood gumbo. And as usual, anything rice related got me going. Rice, the, uh, what is this? It's seafood gumbo, right? Seafood gumbo. And that's the alligator, blackened. That's seafood gumbo. It's a bit of crab meat in there and prawns. I'm gonna have a little bit on its own, then after I'll put in the rice. I like it. Louisiana Chinese food. Anyway, this one, the rice is a bit more um, uh, firmer. Not, not as sticky and not as starchy. So this is alligator. The chicken nugget. Alligator meat tastes like frog when it's done this way. Trip's main was a fried catfish sandwich and I got the half and half fried crawfish and etouffee. This one is a coffee. Hush puppy. Oh, very nice. Slightly sweet. Is it made of cornmeal? Oh, very nice. I like it. The fried crawfish had a texture more tender than shrimp. Their crawfish etouffee was also very savory, just my kind of comfort food. There is a bit of oil on this, like you can see it's missing. For a chain restaurant, I'm really impressed. The flavors were great and the service was wonderful. Alright, just want to show you that this is a pretty nice Spring Hill Suites hotel room. This is in uh, Gonzales, which is south of Baton Rouge. And as you can see, the space is really nice and big. Can't show the toilet now, but it is also very wide and nice. See, you got like space for your luggage and then you can uh, have this space as well in the closet. Lots of space. And then, and then, well, it has to be outside. Yeah, very nice. Very nice indeed. And you can set up your Netflix. bathroom looks like. Um, actually I'm reminded now that actually this is a handicapped room so that's why the space is a lot wider than normal but it's very nice. I mean Chip was just saying that if he had to work from somewhere he could stay in this for long term. Now I'm gonna go collect ice. One of the things you learn to do when you come over to the United States is
that ice was essential for something new Chip introduced me to, and those should help me with any hangovers. You just want to have bone broth and a steak once a week. She makes homemade bone broth for me. She gets the bones and boils them for like two or three days and skims the stuff off the top and it turns just white. A white and then she bags it up for me in these gallon freezer bags and stacks it up in there. And it is amazing. Well, you're just lucky to have her. I am blessed. I told them they needed to check in more regularly and see how you were doing. Yes, I, I did put a little parenting in play there. <laughs> to rice and curry except that this is not curry and this is fried chicken <laughs> control shift alternate delete control shift alternate delete ah no i can't reach across <laughs> 